Welcome to this node breakdown for Mardini 2024 with Grayscale Gorilla. This is day eight, and today's node is the Karma Fog Box LOP. Now, once again, this is going to be a LOP level node. So go ahead and switch to the Solaris desktop and also go to the stage level. From here, we can just go ahead and drop a Karma Fog Box, right? Just like that. And we won't really see anything except for this cube in the middle of our scene, but this represents a uniform volume and we can increase the density and you won't see any changes in our viewport. To actually see this, we're going to need a light. So let's drop an environment light, just like that, and switch to Karma XPU. Now volumes work with density, shadow density, and scattering and absorption. Fortunately for us, we really don't have to worry about it too much. We have access to these three settings as we increase the density. The fog box over here becomes more opaque. So if we keep increasing this density to something like 10, we'll have a really dense volume. This is the idea of a smoke which dissipates, right? So a smoke may start out as a very high density smoke, but as the particles that make up the smoke dissipate into the air, the density decreases. So this is maybe going to represent a box with a lot of particulate matter, whereas this is going to be a low density box. But low density is also dependent on the size of the volume. So if we go ahead and just extend this out, you'll be able to see that it still looks the same, right? This still looks like the same low density. But if we go ahead and look at it from here, it will look like a much higher density volume. The reason for this is much the same as how mist works. If mist is close to you, you don't really notice it, but over large distances, more light is scattered by more particles between you and your viewing target, so it appears as a higher density, right? So this is something to keep in mind, because if we push up the size of this box when we're working with, say, an environment, so push this up to a scale of 50, we won't be able to see anything, right? No light really gets through. So density is also going to be dependent on the scale of your box. Sometimes you're going to have to drop it if you have a larger box. So it doesn't have to be a box. We have the shape option over here. We can do something like a torus, right? So this is still going to be a uniform volume. And what I mean by that is that there's not going to be any sort of differences in density across the volume. So we can't have things like a noise pattern or anything like that, right? It's just a uniform volume. So in other words, a constant density throughout the geometry. Okay, so how can we actually make use of this? Well, let's take a look at this on the left-hand side over here where I have this scene set up. And what would be nice is to have rays of light that we can see. Those are also known as God rays, and that's going to be light hitting any sort of particulate matter in the air. And we'll be able to see that as these rays or shafts of light. So to do that, we're going to use a karma fog box, right? So a karma fog box right over here. Now, by default, it's just going to make that small cube over there. And we're going to want it to actually cover most of what we see in camera. So let's just go ahead and increase its size, right? You can use the transform handles over here to increase its size. And I'm gonna switch back to the Houdini GL view. Okay, so we've got a bigger box over there. Let's take a look at this through our camera view once more, switching to Karma XPU. So as you can see, we already have this light now coming in through the window, right? And it renders really quickly. This is a pretty efficient node to be using. The one downside to these nice shafts of light is that we also lose some background detail, right? This may look a bit too hazy, so what we can do is mess around with things like density and shadow density. The first thing that we're going to look at is actually shadow density. Shadow density is how intense the shadows are that this volume casts. If we push this up to something like 10, you can see how it darkens our scene. So if you want to minimize the amount of darkening in your scene from this Karma Fog box, you can decrease this. So I'm going to drop this to 0.1 and already our scene is brighter, but it still has this haziness. And that's because our density is a little bit too high. So let's just go ahead and drop this. And as you can see, it's not looking so bad anymore, but we are still mostly maintaining those shafts of light. The next thing that we want to look at is scattering phase, right? The scattering phase over here represents the direction in which light travels once it enters the volume. So how does light bounce around inside of the volume? A value of zero means that it just bounces around in any direction, which means that there's an even distribution of light scatter. As we decrease this, we're telling light to bounce towards the direction in which it's coming from. And when we do this, you'll start to notice less of those guard rays, right? They start to fade out because light is now bouncing back from its source. As soon as we get to these low values, you rarely stop seeing anything at all, right? So eventually you end up with a bit of a weird look and you generally won't ever go to minus one or one. So let's go back to zero and see how we can improve the look of these guard rays. From here, we can actually increase it slightly to encourage light traveling in the direction from the light source. And in certain cases, this will improve the way that your rays look. 
In other cases, the default of zero is going to be best. So of course you can just keep playing around with settings until you find something that you like. You can even change the color of this volume so that it looks more like rays of light, right? Something like that. So do keep in mind that the viewing angle and the direction of the light are going to influence this greatly. So if I just go ahead and just change this light that we have outside, of course we're going to end up with very different looking rays of light. This is also going to be influenced by the intensity of our light. So the more light we have in the scene, the brighter our volume is going to get. So I hope that helped you understand the Karma Fog Box, and I'll be seeing you tomorrow with the background plate lock.